Hey, to all my Lupac gloves. Okay, y'all. So Laonya, aka Bree, took to Main So Funny's uh YouTube live yesterday and was crying and carrying on, of course. Um, you know, the day after she had the big manic episode on Instagram outside of Janelle's house, right? So she took to his platform yesterday and she made some very, very questionable statements you know especially seeing how we've been following this situation for two years now she went up there and had the audacity to say she's always been the good person to everyone she's never done anything wrong to anyone and blase blase but i'm going to rebuttal that of course you know i wouldn't be me if i didn't rebuttal it <laughs> so check this out y'all Amazing man, your black is beautiful. I love the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you motivate me, the way you push me, the way you wink at me, the way you bite your lip. <laughs> You are everything that a queen can ever want, and I really appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you. Every day. So when people see me like, oh, you were this, oh, you were that, for six years of going through that, Six years of gaslighting, six, six years of emotional abuse, six years of being choked and, and dragged across the floor. Jesus. Can you imagine your children knocking on the door, screaming, let my mommy out, mm. let my mommy out, please let my mommy out, screaming. And then every time you call the system, the system fails you mm. because they don't arrest anybody. And all they say is, oh, you're married. So the only thing we can do is just tell you guys to go and set a price for the house when you don't know when you leave my house, this motherfucker is back at it again. Let me make you eat your own your own words, baby. Let me tell you something. To have my own business, which is what he has helped me got today. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even have this fan page. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be making as much money as I am making. That's the king, okay? When he come into your life and upgrade you, not downgrade you and try to control your every thought and your every move. So when people kept saying, oh, that's she talking about herself. No, baby, because I am where I am today because of my husband. My husband upgraded me, not downgraded me, not controlled me, not nothing. I do what I want to do when I want to. Woo, shit. Some people do not know how to put their differences to the side and just say, you know what? This is all about the child. Let's get it right. Emotional damage. We all know there's no such thing as a perfect marriage. Can you highlight strengths and weaknesses and how y'all work through them? So in the beginning of my marriage, I wanted to work in healthcare. Okay. I still love healthcare. I got my degrees in them, so I'm like, why not use them? And so me and my husband, we didn't see eye to eye on that. And I understand now, but I didn't understand then. So when I first moved to Atlanta, I was like, I want to work. Like, I don't know. I don't want to stay home. I want to stay home. And so that was like a lot of problems in our marriage because of that. Because he wanted me to stay home and be an entrepreneur. And I wanted to go work because I went to school and got my degrees. I want to go work. And so we bumped head to head a lot on that. So there is that was one of our issues. But now I understand why he pushed me so hard to be an entrepreneur because look where I am now. So I'm proud that he did do that. But in the beginning, I did not see this. I'm like, I want to go to work. You trying to control me. And that's that's not what it was. It was I want you to stay home and figure out what it is you want to do for yourself and not work for nobody. But I was not seeing that five years ago. Five years ago, I seen, oh, you trying to control me. No, I'm trying to get out here and get some money. So hopefully that was transparent enough for you. There is absolutely not a perfect marriage, but we definitely bumped head and head over over that a lot because I wanted to work and use my degrees and he wanted me to stay home. And he was trying to make me understand that if I was to go out here and work in Atlanta, being that the expenses of housing to live here is high, that if I was to go work, by the time I got my checks, I would be spending it all on daycare. 
But I wasn't caring, girl. I was like, no, I'm going to work. What the hell are you talking about? But I'm glad he pushed me because now I am where I needed to be. And then he was honest from day one about everything. I mean, I ain't never met a man so damn honest about everything. Like some people would keep stuff sugar-coated, but not him. Whether it's going to hurt your feelings or not, he going to tell you the truth. So that made me attracted to him too because I'm like, I ain't never met no man who's brutally honest. Like, I'm going to let you know straight up, I've been dealing with this woman, this woman, this woman, this woman, but I'm cutting them all off for you. Like, never, never have I ever dated anybody like that. Oh, my God. Wow. You got nothing to lose but the relationship. Like, really? I learned to do better as a wife, and I want to learn, and I want to be open. This is my first marriage, so I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it work. So, that's what it swallowed up have you ever been swallowed up have you gone through a time of swallowing where i can honestly say if i would have never said anything done anything exposed anything i would still be there suffering in silence i would still be there covering it up i would still be there putting band-aids on makeup on it um dressing it up making it look cute coming on here trying to practice what i preach practice what i preach Tell y'all about self-love. Tell y'all what not to accept. All the while, I'm not living in my truth. So all the while, I regret it. I was like, golly, why did I say something? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? Nothing new. Nothing changed. Same old shit. Since y'all been following me, I've been saving people. Y'all be like, if Brianna just said, if Brianna came out and said this, if Brianna just did this, if Brianna, why don't Brianna expose this? Why don't Brianna expose that? Because I'm always saving everyone but myself. So I'd rather be dragged. I'd rather be humiliated. You know? I'll allow y'all to bash me to save other people instead of saving myself. I'm always with my war clothes on. I'm always standing on the front line for everybody else, for everybody I love. But nobody stands on the front line with me. And one day, I'm going to come across somebody who's going to stand in the fire with me and who's not going to let me burn by myself. <sighs> Leave her alone, okay? I'm saying this is no joke. I'm not, I'm not laughing. This ain't no joke. Please, for me, please, can you do this? Can you please calm it down? Leave her alone. All right? You can say what you want to say about me. I am a man. I can take it. All right? Leave her alone. Don't have to go. Y'all opinions is all over the place. Y'all say the most craziest stuff. I get it. You have an opinion. But can you please for me, for the guy that just beat cancer, man, I'm going through enough. My stress is not just for me. My stress is for my family. OK, we got kids in this, man. I get it. It's on social media. Take some people. Everything is entertainment. We get it. Chill out, man. Y'all opinions are so crazy. Y'all wishing me to have cancer again. Y'all hoping I die. Y'all saying all type of stuff. I can take it. But don't push that out there on her, man. Leave her alone. I don't care what she on there saying about me. Leave her alone. That was my wife for six years. Leave her alone. Okay? Do and I, oh. Brianna, all I can say is I really loved you. Me pouring into you, teaching you the game, everything that I did, raising the kids was from the bottom of my heart. Like, I really cared a lot. And my advice is just use what I taught you in a positive way and put the kids first and remember all of this stuff that's been put out they're going to be able to see it you got to fix this now and just focus on putting the kids first making their life better pour all of that same stuff that i poured into you and the kids into the kids you seen how i moved you know how i move it's never to hurt anybody and i wish you nothing but the best you and the kids but we just got to do what's right we have a daughter together understand that that's my DNA in her. That's the best advice. I wish you nothing but the best. Oh, I'm going to do that anyway. I'm going to do that anyway because that's how I ate. Um, face. Yeah.
um, image. Mm -hmm. I wanted to just gracefully be done with it and then just go our separate ways. But I feel like if I would have never went public, I would still be there. Yeah. Mm. Making excuses for it. Mm. Me coming out publicly gave me an extra force to stay out of it. Yeah. And a bunch of opinions made me realize what I really was going through because once I got out of it, I started realizing all the red flags. Cause when you're in it, you don't see it. Right. Mm -hmm. I was making so many excuses. Mm -hmm. Oh, he didn't have a mom. Oh, he was raised by his grandparents. Oh, <sighs> he don't know what love is. Oh, it was so many excuses that I kept making for that person that it was like, girl, what? How? How is that even possible? How? 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 When you're dating, take your time. Take your time. Yeah, you can become a girlfriend because you're still a girlfriend. You're not a wife. And what I've learned is when we date as women, we become naturally, we become wives. We start doing wifely duties. You're not a wife yet. You're just a girlfriend. Do girlfriend duties until that man make you his wife. Stop dating and being someone's wife. You hear that? Stop dating. Being someone's wife, you're not his wife. Look at my face. Oh. My dear. Bye, girl. Bye, girl. Bye. Heartbreak is horrible for me. I don't like that. I don't want to be with nobody. Mm -mm. I'm going to be alone with a house full of cats and dogs before I ever be with another man. I don't want to be with another man. Ever. I love too hard. And I hurt even worse. A few moments later. We need some big dick uh, wheelies. Listen, you already got it. I ain't got nothing. No, I, I'm not saying you personally got it. But... I want to be there by this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Slide yeah. <laughs> that nigga like. <laughs> oh, yeah! Be in the back of my horse. Big dick alert! I said big dick alert! My name is Big Dick Daddy, and I'm from Cincinnati. Big Big Daddy from Cincinnati. Absolutely. That's all you make. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you should take the time out to be single. And especially if you just got out of a relationship, I feel like you shouldn't rush into another one. Because a lot of times, nine times out of ten, y'all are bringing the hurt and the pain and the issues that you had with your past relationship into that new relationship. Because you didn't give your old relationship time to heal. You were such in a rush to be in love with somebody else or have somebody else in your bed to make you feel complete. On oh, shit popping, career popping. <laughs> On TV, <laughs> in movies, <laughs> yeah, not Facebook acting, <laughs> real life acting, <laughs> IMVD status. <laughs> <laughs> Eat him up! Eight left no motherfucking crumbs, don't play with him, he is not one of them. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, E. coli, E. coli, yeah, shine, yeah. Nah, nah, come, nah. On, come on, come on, come on, shine. Do you think you'll get back into dating soon? What does that look like for you? I am dating. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's go. Let's get back out there. <laughs> Come on, Stella. Okay. I am dating an amazing person. Oh. Um, he's from Wu-Tang. He was on the Wu-Tang show. His name is Janelle. Okay. Um, because if I would have not did that live, I would still be in this roller coaster today. I would still be okay what you want all right let's fix it all right let's do this all right no more enough is enough i'm fed up i'm fed up i'm tired of saving and protecting everybody else while brianna is not getting saved who's gonna save brianna if brianna don't save herself <laughs> i am dating an amazing person oh. um he's from wu-tang he was on the wu-tang show his name is janelle okay. i know janelle janelle and i did a movie janelle together yeah. yes so, oh it must be serious if you just name dropped him yeah <laughs> right did you put it out there it's, it's listen he came into my storm and he was there for me no matter what nobody said about me smear campaigns emails was sent people writing his publicist managers people writing on his show he stood by my side and was like we're gonna get through this we're gonna meditate you're not about to keep responding this is what we doing mm. wow and then the most important thing for me is his relationship with god yes oh my god i'm 
I <laughs> love that. Yeah. I love that you love God more than you love yourself. I love that you love God more than you will ever think about loving me. I love that you don't mind getting on your knees and praying to God. Yeah, That's a turn on for Can me. Yes. Yeah. Person that I don't want my ex. As much as it seemed like, oh, I'm going back and forth because I, oh, you seem like you're going back and forth with your ex because you want them. I had to prove a point. So it was either jump into a relationship and make it public so he can feel secure in the relationship and that I didn't want my ex or say nothing. And do this entire time, it's been let me make this person feel secure all while the time I sacrifice my old self. Okay. And for me, my my part of releasing somebody is when I do expose them. Because once I expose them, this applies pressure for me to never look back. And that's what last night was. Last night. I wanted to come live because the other night I was live at 4, 2 o'clock in the morning. And I was talking to y'all about how I felt. And I was reading some of y'all comments. I was reading some of y'all comments and I was reading them out loud. And everybody was like, well, she's bashing. I'm not bashing anybody. So if anybody felt like I was bashing anybody, I apologize. I was not bashing anybody. However, when I was reading comments, people screen recorded it and made it to feel how I felt. I can't take... I can't take credit for somebody's show or whatever they got going on in life. But however, I can say, hey, I promoted this. Hey, I shouted this out. Wow. Crazy. You're crazy, girl. That's a big stepper. He on Wu-Tang American Saga. He on Social Society Part 2. Google him. I am BD him. He's a big stepper. So don't try to play him like that. Okay? Okay? Real legit. Real on TV. Real shows. Real entertainment. Not sitting there doing skits in restaurants, in malls, and stuff like that. But either... <laughs> That man ain't a millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire, nothing. I make more money than all my baby daddies, so y'all can stop saying somebody got trapped. Please. And that don't sit well with me. It don't sit well in my spirit. It don't make sense. I said what I said. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Here we go. Hello. It's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me to go over everything. They say that time's supposed to heal you, but I ain't done much healing. Hello, bastard, can you hear me? If you want this new album, you can find it. Keep playing, Justin Hill. If you want this new album, you can find it. Somewhere, somehow. Adele's song is called Hello, but mine is called Hello. I am just genuinely loving to everybody that I come into place with. One thing for certain is I am a good person, period. I ain't never done nothing wrong to nobody. <laughs> Y'all seen how I showed up for that girl. Even as far as putting my face behind this BS. You get what I'm saying? The manager want me to make a video. All the videos, she right next to me telling me what to say. But it's cool. You my friend. I'm going to do it. I experienced some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen that man hit her. I was never in their house when that happened. All I know is what my friend at the time was telling me. And I'm going to defend my friend. And I'm going to show up for my friend. That's all I know. My friend called me crying. I'm going to speak up for my friend. That's what it was. You get what I'm saying? So it's like. For me to show up how I show for this, show up for this person, show up for them. Anytime they damn, just about any time they call me, I'm showing up. I do that for all of my friends. Some of my friend, other friends are on here. They can attest. I'm gonna show up for you. I'm going to pray for you. If I can help you, I'm gonna help you. And it's not gonna be no nothing in return. I don't need nothing in return. If God blessed me with the gift of certain things, I have a creative mind. I'm able to look at things and create. If I can help my friends with that, with their businesses or whatever they need me to do, invest, or even just simple connections. That was a lot of connections that I gave her as well. Like let's be for real, okay? Like,
Like when she got those two BBLs and breast, I spent time for my children to go there to take care of you. Unpaid. Y'all say, oh, she was paying. No, let's be real. Unpaid away from my children to wipe your ass. Okay. Let's talk about it because I'm over it. And at this point, I'm going to let it be known. And from here, y'all could think what y'all want to think about me, but y'all not going to keep lying on me. Like I wasn't a great friend to this person. And for her to keep talking about, I'm the victim this, I'm the victim that. No, I'm the victim. This is the victim. So we're going to speak on it. Okay. I'm going to speak on it today because I got time today. Ever since her the public marriage she has not that's she needs to heal and that was another thing that bothered me i'm come to the house you dealing with one man he there and then next thing you know the current man is there both day i'm like i'm gonna be here one day and they both gonna pull up and it's gonna be an issue Stuff like that. Like, you really have to take the time to heal. If you don't take the time to heal, you're going to keep experiencing the same thing. You reap what you sow. As a man, think of, so is he. Literally, you cannot keep going through stuff. It has to be one day you got to look in the mirror. One thing for certain is I am a good person, period. I ain't never done nothing wrong to nobody. <laughs> Yeah, well, my thing was, like, when she was like, Robert ain't do nothing for me, like, he taught you how to do the internet stuff. Like, he could have very well just let you be in his videos and not teach you how to do it. He gave you the sauce. He is the reason. You feel me? Like, you got to get that man credit where credit is due. For real, for real. And now look at what you got. Some bisexual possibility looking lizard nose having spitting in your face, being your ass cheating. You just went completely backwards. Backwards. And then when people like, is that your sister? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, because you're not going to claim me in a negative way. And then I suppose to claim you when people act. No, your family wants us there for you. But then you rather pick and choose and help other people. And because your mama was a red bone, you help the, the siblings that are light skinned. Then you treat your child Isaiah different from everybody else because he chocolate. One thing for certain is I am a good person, period. I ain't never done nothing wrong to nobody. When me and her, when me and her do something, it's, it's, it's between me and her. If she tells somebody, she tells somebody. But I don't like when you tell somebody false information and have them thinking that I'm the bad guy. So Donnell snapped on me when we were at the premiere, like towards the, end of the premiere. And when he snapped on me, Brianna didn't come to my defense. Brianna didn't text me after the situation and say, hey, you know, I'm sorry that all this went down. Let's hash this out. Let's have a conversation or no, nothing. She just literally did not talk to me for days after that. And then when she did want to talk to me is when she'll text me and ask me to do something for her or ask for something. But never has she ever tried to have a conversation with me about that incident that happened. And that pissed me off. One thing for certain is I am a good person, period. I ain't never done nothing wrong to nobody. This, this got to be my lucky day. You don't have no Valentine. You know, this is crazy. This is amazing. Now you do. How would I have a yeah. what, what would make you think I got a Valentine? I don't know. I just, you're just, just like, you just this, this I thought, big, I thought big, you still big, had a girlfriend. You just is like this big, big superstar. And, I, and I'm not going to lie. It made me a little nervous. And I was just like, damn, she probably got all these Valentines. And... Do you have a Valentine? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be all over your business. Do you have a Valentine? Do you have a Valentine? Oh, you don't. Oh, I'm Valentine, okay? You need to. I don't have one either. What happened to your girlfriend? Uh, long story. <laughs> long story. I mean, long story. Yeah, long, long story. Okay. Long story. So, now why am I in it? And you could have did it. See, so, I get it wrong. You never apologize. Okay, so just some clarity on the whole September of 2022. Like, what? led you to believe that it was some type of interaction between Janelle and Brie at that time, that specific time. Was it a picture or you seen something that, you know, what, like what, what made you believe that it was her? So I didn't know, I didn't know. I didn't follow the saga. Didn't know, of course, Brianna didn't know 
um, Robert at the time, the specific incident that happened was that he um, he blocked me off his story. My my cousin sent me a um, a picture or whatever, like like all the pictures that he had blocked me off the story, and her picture was one of the pictures. So what I did was at that time, like I said, I don't have that phone anymore. I screenshotted that or whatever, and I, you know how we do or whatever. Like when I guess when you guys say receipts or whatever, I just put it to the side and I was just like just note it because why is he block like why is he blocking me off of his story or whatever because at the time he was like i think he said he was at a premiere or doing promotion promotion or whatever and i just was just like you never blocked me off the story before so it just kind of i'm a woman i'm i'm going to um you know i'm, I'm going to investigate a little bit so i just kind of put that to the side and and just went on about it like i said after that we had came back we ended up going on my birthday trip it's it hard becoming somebody's wife, especially when it used to be a hoe. You used to, used to, used to, used to. I'm trying to get see what that be like right then. Look, be that, 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 that. But one thing for certain is I am a good person, period. I ain't never done nothing wrong to nobody. Everybody I come in to meet, I'm trying to be there for everybody that. I talk to, I'm trying to be helpful. You need help with this, you need to learn this, you need to do this. I don't be trying to charge nobody no money for nothing. I am just genuinely loving to everybody that I come into place with. And I can say I don't think that she's a nice person at all. I, I can say this because I know this, like, I, I, she's not a nice person. She's not nice, she's not humble, she, she's not truthful. No, no real domestic violence person taunt their victims. They don't do that. I got more money than you. You mad because I elevated and you're not. You're mad because your music's still shitty and it's not. You mad because Drop It Low ain't going no fucking way. You mad because you got to pay people to dance to your shit. You mad? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? I'm going to let Team Brianna continue to drag that. And I'm going to be quiet because I ain't got to do nothing. I ain't got to do nothing. I'm going to let them continue to drag you. I'm not going to save you. I'm not going to protect you, baby. Hey, Willie, how are you? <laughs> um, Just saying. Just saying. We ain't doing that. I'm getting the bag. I'm getting money. Life is great. Okay? I'm not out here trying to, hey, dude, hey, you know me? You want to take a picture? Let's take a picture right Dang. have a man and she not settling for less just to be just because she having twins with a man oh and then the favorite thing is oh she trapped him trap what that man ain't a millionaire billionaire trillionaire nothing i make more money than all my baby daddy so y'all can stop saying somebody got trapped please did not want another child so i ended so up being pregnant i was off of birth control dating or three mm -hmm. years after married pretty much yeah you had a child mm -hmm. and he didn't want another one no, what girl, for six, control? three, I was off of birth control. I mm -hmm. was, I was on depo. I've been on depo for a long time because I have problems with heavy periods. Mm -hmm. So I had got off because I'm like, okay, I need my body to readjust to not being on that for so long because, you know, it causes bone deterioration, your hair to fall out, certain things like that. So I got off of it and we was having unprotected. I ended up being pregnant. And for three, four months straight, he kept on telling me how he didn't want to have a kid. The what? first two months, I need to have an abortion. Every day, I need to have an abortion, have an abortion, have an abortion, have an abortion. And I'm like, I am i don't believe in killing my baby. So She's I'm having her. Don't take my baby, okay? <laughs> I've, been, I've been away from my baby. I'm posting content with him as we're just cool hanging out we just friends or whatever this is how we met we met in la we just hanging out we just having fun but when we got to new york i started flying myself out for his premieres okay i was flying myself out i never was glued out nowhere i always was supportive whatever he needed i was always there so I started flying myself out to New York, getting my hotel room. He asked me if I had any friends that could come and support me, support him as well for his premiere, for his friends, for his castmates. I said, yeah. So I get 
I asked my friends to come, which is Shay. Y'all seen her before. And then y'all see Damien who do wigs and stuff in Atlanta, who y'all also seen before on my page before. And we go to New York. Okay. Man, nigga, I saw. Y'all wanna slow dance? <laughs> Just see you wanna slow dance. Whatever I'm gonna turn it to. ATL, Jacob, ATL, Jacob. <laughs> so at first everything was cool but that's when i met the dark side of him the dark side which is the demon that he has so let's get into that so as we're dating and we just being cool we're just being friends i'm already not trying to rush nothing but i'm just having fun okay i'm having fun we also start telling each other we love each other. I'm like, damn, this shit moving fast as hell. But I felt like he was an angel in disguise. <laughs> 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 bitch, I can see it now. I can't believe that this bitch got my daughters around this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, and Deshaun, you already like him? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So see, real genuine smiles. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get ready, sis. <laughs> Ain't no fun when a rabbit got the gun. <laughs> Ain't no fun when a rabbit got the gun. <laughs> we as women are the same. Y'all gotta start figuring that out. Y'all rather go stand behind a man and uplift a man and pour into a man and make sure a man's straight before y'all make sure we as our own women be straight. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. We all go out here and get a man, pour into the man, make the man whole, do all these things to make sure he good and straight. But the black women in our community, we got to bash, belittle them, and make them feel less than. What? What? Crazy to me. What are we raising our young daughters to become? Get a man, pour into the man, build for a man, come up, become a partner. Be a teammate to him. But we can't teach our women to be teammates to each other. We can't teach our young women to be teammates to each other. We can't teach each other that we can be teammates to each other. We got to belittle one another to make it. We got to hate on each other to make it. We got to make each other feel less than to make it. We can't pour into each other. We can only pour into men. So we can't pour into each other as women. Make that make sense for me. Make that make sense for me. 